guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to achieve our off shoulder sweet ass bustier top with our mouton sleeve so basically i'm going to divide this video into two sections one is going to be for the sleeve area and the second one is going to be for the top so if you are interested in learning how to you know achieve the both of them please go ahead and watch the video i'm also going to put the link somewhere on the screen and that is the reason why you have to click on the subscribe bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up so what are the basic measurements required so plus two inches we have 24 inches our round sleeve measurement is 12 inches 12 divided by two 12 divided by two you have six plus two inches for your sewing allowance you have eight inches now the basic things i'm also going to explain in this style the first thing i'm going to talk about here is our sleeve length in order for you to achieve this form of sleeve it simply means that the upper part of your sleeve is actually very full and why for this lower part is fitted right so for the fullness of the upper part of your sleeve you are going to use you know a very long amount of fabric so yeah I'm, for me i'm going to make it of 60 inches long you know for the amount of fabric why for the length i'm going to have 24 inches and also you are basically going to divide your length also into two don't worry you are going to understand it better when i get to the cutting part so for the length also you are also going to divide your length into two the upper part which is the full part like i explained earlier and the lower part which is the fitted part so if you're if your sleeve length is 22 inches it means that from my upper part to somewhere around here i have 14 why for this lower part which is going to be fitted you know that is what you're going to have for the lower part and another thing i also want to take note of is your your round sleeve measurement so the round sleeve measurement is only going to be used at this lower part that is fitted that is the only part you need your round sleeve measurement because for this upper part you're going to add so much inches to it like i said i'm making use of 60 inches for it and you are going to understand better when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial. question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available Available, both online training and physical training and don't forget to join us on Facebook TD Designs on Instagram TG Designs so they are going to be on the screen now don't forget that for the off shoulder also you are going to take off inches for the upper part the number of inches you take off totally depends on how off you want it to be so you can take, take off four inches you can take off five six seven it all depends on how off you want to be but I'm going to explain that in details when we get to the sewing part of this tutorial the cutting part of this tutorial please like i said this video is going to be in two sections the first one i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the top and the second part of this video i'm going to be explaining the sleeve go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell if you have any question please go ahead and drop that in the comment section because i really don't want this video to be too long that is the reason why i feel like i'm going to split it into two but i'm going to put the link of each tutorial on the screen so that you can go ahead and watch it to give you your complete outfit if you have any question so guys we are going to be cutting out our gigas off shoulder sleeve and we are attaching this sleeve to our off shoulder bustier blouse right so if you're interested in learning how to achieve that please go ahead and check out the video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and also turn on the bell click on the bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up so i am making use of this you know fabrics and fabric are available at our store so one thing you should also take note of when you are cutting is especially for fabrics that have patterns it's necessary for you to observe the pattern on your fabric to know how to fold your fabric and also how to place you know your patterns on it so now i'm just going to fold my fabric into two this is my fabric this way i've gone ahead now to fold it into two now our gigot sleeve from your shoulder 
shoulder to your elbow you have your gigot area and this part you have your slim area so we are cutting out this gigot area which is the full area first before we cut out the lower side of our sleeve so now the length of that now i have 14 inches so i made this of 14 inches to fold this part of the fabric so this is the part of the fabric we need so I'm, i made this of 14 inches which is the length to fold this fabric this way right now for the length of the fabric or the amount of fabric required you know for the length of this fabric is one it depends on how full you want your gigot sleeve to be and also you also have to consider the amount of fabric you are working with so if you are working with enough fabric and you also want your gigot sleeve to be very full you can make use of 60 inches you know 60 inches for the length that way you have like a very full sleeve trust me like your sleeve is going to be very full and one thing about this gigot sleeve that i must mention is the fact that the more fabric you use the more full your gigot sleeve looks and the more beautiful effects you have at the end of the day so this is not a sleeve that you know you can just manage or minimize the amount of fabric you use so for me now i'm going to make use of about 55 inches you like i said you can make use of 70 inches long you can make use of 80 inches you can make it of 100 inches if you really want it to really stand like you get what i mean so now go ahead and determine the amount of fabric you need you know and also for the length that will be the length of your sleeve so this is what i have now i'm going to make it of about let me just make it of 60 inches so i'm going to make it of 60 inches i'll go ahead now and cut out 60 inches by 14 and then show you guys what it looks like so guys now i have two pieces you can see i have about 60 inches by 14 inches so this is what we have and i have two pieces so i'm going to go ahead now you are basically going to go ahead and run your gathers right you are going to run your gathers on this fabric which i'm going to show you guys how to do that so now we want to cut out the lower part don't forget that i said you have the upper part and the lower part of the sleeve now this is the lower part this is my fabric now go ahead and fold your fabric into four fold your fabric into four this way now after folding your fabric into four you go ahead and check out what you have for your length so the length now i need about 12 inches for my length right so i went ahead to mark 14 inches because i'm going to be folding two inches at this lower part for my sewing allowance so this is what i have now the measurements you need now is your round sleeve measurement so my round sleeve measurement is 12 12 divided by 2 i have 6 inches so i'm going to add one inch to it or let me add one and a half inches to it for my sewing allowance so this is where i have seven and a half inches i don't know if you guys can see it okay i think it's better now i think it's better now so my round sleeve is 12 divided by two we have six i added one and a half inches for my sewing allowance and i have seven and a half inches now for the lower part of your sleeve this is what you have at your wrist area right so for me i have eight eight divided by two i have four plus one and a half i'm going to have five and a half inches plus one and a half i have five and a half inches you guys i don't know if you guys can see it but basically it's very simple so just connect this to the upper part of your sleeve so just connect it so at this point now mark what you have here divided by two and add your sewing allowance why for the upper part mark your round sleeve divided by two plus your sewing allowance so i'll just go ahead now and sit that notch it so that you can know where is the upper part and where is the lower part but for me because this lower part has like has the fabric edge so i would know that this is the lower part but you can just notch it so that you won't end up mixing it you know mixing it up so this is what we have this is what it's going to look like this is what it's going to look like it's going to come this way like a what shape is that i don't know <laughs> but this is 
basically what it looks like and then we are going to have two pieces so i'll go ahead now and show you guys how to run your gathers for the upper piece so guys for the sleeve now you know you are going to make use of your you are going to run your gathers they are going to run your gathers. So when you run your gathers, you know, it means that for you to run your gathers, it simply means that you are stitching on a very loose um, stitch, right? So you keep on pulling it, pulling it, pulling it until when you have like this. So you've also, you've gone ahead now to gather this up so you can see what it looks like. So basically, you just keep on adjusting, you know, you have to be very careful so that this doesn't cut along the line so you just go ahead now and keep on pulling it pulling it carefully so by the time you are done you know this part should be equal to your round sleeve so this is what we have now this is our upper part and this is the lower part so guys now we've gone ahead now to you know gather this up that is one sleeve and for the second sleeve also we've gonna we've also gone ahead to also gather this up now the next thing we want to do now is we want to attach this um gathered up sleeve to our basic sleeve now it's also necessary for you to know where you have you know the upper part of your sleeve where are you attaching to the upper part of your sleeve and where are you attaching to the lower part of your sleeve so this point now is the lower part of our sleeve which is going to serve at this point why this is where we are going to attach our ruffle gathers um, sleeve to so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead now you can see this lower part that is opened right and you've gathered this upper part right so go ahead now place this lower side of this sleeve on the upper side of this sleeve now and then you go ahead and gather this up on it so basically the idea of this is to gather all this into this part of the sleeve that's the idea of what you want to achieve at the end of the day so you place it like this you keep on gathering it on it on this basic sleeve so that everything you know every of this sleeve like this every of this sleeve like this can fit into this this is what you want to achieve so by the time you now flip it up this part is going to give you that full um, effect so i'll go ahead now and attach this and also do the same for the second piece and show you guys what it looks like going ahead now to attach this to the lower part of this sleeve you can see what it looks like so this is basically what we are going to have by the time you fold it into two just to give you guys like an idea of how full this is going to be so the next thing we are going to do is you are going to discover that you have like rough edges at this place which does not make sense so what you are going to do now is you are going to cut out like another um, piece now the length of this the length of this right totally depends on how many inches you took off for the blouse so if you took off five inches you know for your off shoulder now you are going to have about 10 inches right then you add two inches for your sewing allowance we have 12 inches I'm going to fold it into two i just basically want to measure what i have so if for the off shoulder now i have six inches into two this way then i'm going to add two inches for the sewing allowance i have eight inches now for the wideness of these stripes i have about three inches for the wideness so you can make yours smaller or you can make yours bigger it all depends on you so what you are going to do now is it's actually very easy we basically just want to you know tape this part so that this can be neat so what you are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this um stripe or knit this way you stitch it this way and then you flip it to the other part and you stitch it so you are basically going to have this you are basically using this um stripe to cover up this rough edges so by the time you are done stitching it this is exactly what you are going to have and this is what it's going to look like right so i'll go ahead now and stitch it so guys now we've gone ahead to tape this you can see what it looks like it basically just covers up like the rough edges you have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and fold your sleeve this way and mark your armhole you discover that this sleeve does not have armhole yet and it's supposed to fit into your armhole 
now what you took for your off shoulder let's assume that we took off five inches for the off shoulder top right we go ahead now and mark the five inches you go ahead now and mark the five inches so you place the five inches outside you place the five inches this way outside your tape measure right the five inches or the number of inches you took off for your off shoulder will be off and then you go ahead and mark your armhole so my armhole now is nine inches this is what i have so i'm going to go ahead now and cut this out so guys after cutting this out you discover that we've already created our armhole already for the off shoulder and this is what it looks like and i'm going to be attaching this to so guys you can see i'm going to be attaching this to our off shoulder sweet ass neckline and this is basically what we have you can see how cute it is on this style so now the next thing you're just going to do now is to go ahead and attach the arm o to your top arm o i have a tutorial on how to achieve this i'm going to go ahead and put it somewhere on the screen please go ahead and watch how to do that in order for you to achieve you know this complete look so this is basically what we have for the sleeve can you see how cute the sleeve is now for this second part also i'm basically going to go ahead now and attach it to this part of our dress and this is what the time you are done guys this is what it looks like you can see the balloon effects and you can see how cute this is i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye